everybody. Welcome back to school, and welcome back to another great year of Bulldog Sports. Uh, we're here back on YSPN. I'm Neil Horowitz. With me is Stephen Horn, and we have a packed year full of great sports for you guys. Hopefully some more Ivy titles and great games to talk about. But today, we're going to start off with, why, why not? We're going to jump right into it and get to start with football. So yeah, as Neil said, we're going to jump right into it with football as uh, we'll look into the September 16th game where Yale took on San Diego, and let's check it out right away. 2006, Yale Bulldogs football team season started with great excitement as they took on the San Diego Toreros. The Bulldogs offense looked very impressive at first as the Bulldogs picked up two first down behind running back Mike McLeod before, whoops, a fumble changed the momentum. San Diego quickly took advantage of this early mistake as quarterback Josh Johnson passed to West Oil for a 20-yard touchdown and a 7-0 lead. Behind a very impressive running game led by JT Rogan, the Toreros put together an early drive in the second quarter. This drive was capped with a TED as elusive quarterback Josh Johnson broke one, two, three, four, five, six tackles en route to a 46-yard touchdown and a 13-0 lead. But sophomore Steven Santoro tried to keep his Bulldogs in the game by taking matters into his own hands on this kick return. Santoro finds the hole, pushes teammate Jordan Spence forward, and does the rest himself for a 94-yard touchdown to cut the Torero lead to 13-7. Santoro had done his part for the Bulldogs. But now, it was the defensive's turn. And once again, quarterback Josh Johnson took towards the Bulldogs on the ground and in the air as he finds West, wide receiver West Doyle for 28 yard reception here. One, two, three missed tackles here. And running back JT Rogan did the rest with a two yard touchdown for a 20 to seven lead. The Bulldogs really couldn't stop anyone on third and one today. After a 14 yard punt by Yale, San Diego was at it again. This time quarterback Josh Johnson connected with West Doyle for a 12 yard pass. This drive would result in a field goal. But Yale would not enter the half with a score the way it was. Welcome back, Chandler Henley. Just give him the ball, and he'll do the rest. Quarterback Matthew Polemus wanted a little of the action himself. With this, uh, with this nice 17-yard scramble here to set up a 48-yard field goal, with five seconds left in the half. And the kick by Alan Kimball. Whoa! It's got the distance. It's got the accuracy. It's good. A 48-yard field goal to make the score 23-10 a half. But USD would continue to dominate in the second half as Josh Johnson finds West Doyle here for this 57-yard touchdown. What happened to the coverage here? Coach Selecki had nothing to be happy about as Josh Johnson torched the Bulldogs for 391 yards passing. The Bulldogs still had a little left in them on this run by Mike McLeod for 8 yards. And now it's time for Matt Polemus to throw his first career touchdown to wide out Ashley Wright. The Bulldogs still believe they were in this. Now only down 29 to 17 with plenty of time left in this football game. And their defense came to life by stuffing the Carrero running game here. And they stuffed it here again on fourth and one with a tackle by Jared Hamilton. But missed tackles would continue to be the story of the game as it kills them here on this Johnson pass to Doyle for, a, for 30 yards. How did he miss that tackle there? Doyle finished with 8 catches, 190 yards, and 3 touchdowns. Yale would continue to try and stay in this game as Polemus finds DJ Shooter here. But USD was just too overpowering for the Bulldogs and had Polemus' number all day, leaving him wondering what went wrong. Polemus throws interception here. Polemus finished the day 11 of 28 for 162 yards passing. And Chandler Henley in his return to the Bulldogs was not too happy about this 43-17 loss. Josh Johnson just dominated the Bulldogs altogether. An impressive performance, finishing 28 of 35 for 391 yards passing, 4 touchdowns, and 70 running yards and a touchdown. Remain here. That was just a tough loss, Neil. Not much we could have done in that game. 
Well, you know, in his first game back after a long off season, and I mean, guys have guys have to get back into it. But there's no excuse for missing tackles like this. Guys just can't wrap up, guys. And it's just certain, this is basic fundamentals of football, and there's no excuse for that. Even after the game, you know, um, the press conference, Coach Lucky expressed his discontent about guys being in the right places and just not making plays. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you, but you also have to take into account that you're playing Josh Johnson. He's a fantastic quarterback. Jim Harbaugh, coach of USD, even suggested that he may be the best junior college quarterback in all of college football. Well, that's probably not true. I mean, they were. Th th this was against our team in our first week of the season. He was pretty good. Well, you know, the one thing that, the, the, at least that is um, a good thing for them is that they're never going to see a quarterback that mobile in the Ivy League games, except for maybe Liam O'Hagan at Harvard, who's not definitely no Josh Johnson, though. And next week, however, they have to be ready to play because they're going to take on Cornell tomorrow, and Luke Sewola averaged over 100 yards per game last season. It's going to be a tough game. And they really have to work on their offense, too. Uh, great first game by Matt Polimus, by the way. He, he gained confidence as the game went on. Struggled a little bit early, but uh, he started looking kind of good there. He needs to make better decisions, though. And he needs to stay, learn to stay in the pocket. He's moving around, trying to roll out every time, looking for the run before the pass. He's got the two best wide receivers in the whole Ivy Leagues. And he's just got to get the ball to Ashley Wright and Chandler Hanley. There's, there's just no, nothing else about it. Well, that's, that's the thing is that he's going to have to get more common to be able to step up in that pocket and throw some good passes because, I mean, a lot of these guys, like you said, you're the, you're the best wide receivers in the Ivy League, and these guys have to help them out. They can't make any drop passes. They shot a lot of drop passes during that game as well. And, you know, tomorrow against Cornell, one, last year they allowed 314 passing yards against us with Jeff Mraz and, and Ashley Wright out there. So this week, this week is the perfect time to get it going. Yeah, we'll have to take advantage of that weak Cornell defense.